If all is well, then and only then, they give the order to let the booster, and we're off. Attention pour le décompte final. Final countdown. We'll be back after Arian has cleared the tower. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité 0. Allumage du moteur Vulcan. Allumage des EAP, décollage. So, right on time with the new launch window, Ariane began her mission, blasting off the pad, leaving the trail of gold uh, behind her. Very clear shots. We mentioned that the weather has been, the skies have been very clear. And beautiful images for the people on the beaches and around the base here with their cameras. Our cameraman, René Zamor, is out on the balcony following uh, Ariane flight. The DDO saying that everything on board is normal. 774, 774 tons now at liftoff as Ariane leaves the ground. She's burning five tons of fuel per second. Yes, you heard that right, five tons per second. That's 2.5 tons burning in each booster. And the core stage is burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second. Ariane now following the program in the onboard uh, computer which gives all the orders, including the stage separations, which we will soon see. And I imagine we'll be able to see the booster separation with the eye unaided because uh, the skies are so clear. It has been known to happen. We're in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered. The last is not. We will describe each in turn and in, de in detail so you can follow Ariane as she heads across the Atlantic, where she'll separate the satellites uh, after passing over Africa. Right now, the first flight phase, the single Vulcan core stage engine and the two boosters are burning. They're going to burn uh, for another, I would say, five or six seconds, and they'll be the first to be extinguished. And it looks like they are right on time. That looks like the flame out of the boosters. There it is, right on time. You saw that with the unaided eye. That's wonderful. The DDO has called out uh, confirmation of that. This is what it looks like up there. There's another booster out of camera range uh, on the left, but they're dropped back uh, 500 kilometers from shore in an unprotected area. Beautiful shot there. You see the main engine burning on the right and the two boosters falling away uh, to the left and uh, below. We may be able to see uh, the uh, fairing separation.